Sean, wake up. No, clown, no. <laughs> you slept on the couch? Oh, yeah, I had to. He, um, he installed the deadbolt. Yeah, I know. He's been avoiding me since the incident, too. What do you think his next move going to be? Uh, well, you know him as well as I do. Yeah, he's probably let it eat at him all night. Yeah, and by now he's way out of control. Well, it's probably no surprise to you that I've had a long, hard night and a lot of time to think. And I know that the two of you are thinking that the crazy little man would dwell and stew and blow all this horribly out of proportion. <laughs> but I want you to know that I've worked through it, I'm fine, and I am a happy, healthy Corey. <laughs> and I just want to ask one thing. What's this? No, Corey, we were just... Underpants. I always sleep like this. Underpants! Oh, here we go. Okay, here's how we're gonna handle this. Now, it's very clear that the two of you have had a lot of hidden sexual tension for the last 15 years. No, we haven't. I am speaking now. Now, there is one solution to this and one solution only. <laughs> I want you two to go out on a date. What are you talking about? You're going out on a date and you're gonna explore your feelings. There are no feelings. There are feelings. Maybe you don't think there are feelings, but the tape says there are. I should know, I watched it 512 times. <laughs> no, when you kissed each other, you, you felt something. You both did. We're not going out on a date. You're gonna go out on a date, otherwise it's gonna haunt us for the rest of our lives. Why does everything have to haunt us for the rest of our lives? <laughs> Underpants. <laughs> Will you go out on a date with me? Yes. I knew it! <laughs>